Hey y'all, welcome to another video. I sound like I just woke up and I kind of did. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. And she got a little thing that you hold the phone in, so I just wanted to use it. But we at the church house right now. Um, they practicing for a play for Mother's Day. And yeah. Yeah, my mama set me up. I'm very close to the camera. Let me back up a little bit. Why don't you move my seat? She gonna be mad I moved her seat. I do not care. But we at the church house. Um Yeah, like I said, they practicing for a thing for Mother's Day. And she set me up because I just graduated yesterday. But I'm tired. And she bribed me with food. And she was like, well, um, I'm going to go get something to eat after. Okay, y'all, here's the gag. We're not going to eat nothing until later, later. Because she want to go to the mall and get all other types of stuff and get other things and run other errands. It's like you could have just told me that instead of like just saying food you know because i need to know the whole plan before i make my decision you just told me one thing in a in a um in food you know but i also forgot oh my goodness i also forgot that this weekend is mother's day weekend so she probably just want to spend time with her children which is understandable so yeah people have been asking me what i'm gonna do to celebrate graduation don't know i don't know if i'm having a party or not my mama didn't say nothing about it usually she threw me a party for you know high school graduation but college graduation for one it definitely is a big deal and i feel like it definitely should be celebrated however the money was money like i had to like i had so many other things to pay for and i had to like i had to like I had to pay, like, for example, I had to pay for my ring. Well, my mama and my grandfather paid for my ring. Shouts out to them because, you know. Then we, the financial aid did something weird this year. And I think it was because of study abroad. But I also think that the devil was really trying to shake me up. Like, God is not more than able. But we paid that. Then I had to pay for my graduation pictures. But I paid for that myself period had to do hair makeup nails outfits shoes well that includes the outfits but i did do that myself mama did not pay for me for my pictures i did that because i wanted it so i paid for it thank you amen but yeah the money is money also my mama paid for me to go to study abroad well it was included in the um tuition for school but you know same difference also christmas she paid for me well she paid for all of us to go to disney world that's nothing and she paid for a cruise that we finna take in july can't wait to vlog that i'm so excited for that but um see um yeah so i'm not really tripping if i don't have a party would i like to be celebrated however yes i kind of threw out a hint to my cousin she asked me what i was doing to celebrate i was like mom didn't say nothing about a party so if y'all wanna you know get together and cook a little something because they don't even have to be all that extra stuff it don't have to be all them extra people like i'm good with family and some food some good drinks like that's fine you know but yeah, I don't know. We shall see. But I'm not tripping for real. Graduated with a bachelor's in the arts from modern languages with a concentration uh, in Spanish and Hispanic studies. You know. Um, yeah, y'all. It's I really have a college degree now. That's crazy. Like I have a college degree. And it's also, it's almost been 24 hours since I got that degree. And it's not a measly piece of paper like we got 
in high school. It's a plaque of wood with it printed on there with my full name on there. Can't take that away from me. You can't take that away from me. You cannot take that away from me. Like I understand when people say only thing like only thing people cannot take from you is your name. The the knowledge you know. And I think it's something else. But yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to the mall later on. I don't know. Now I'm in the process of um, applying to master's graduate school because I'm not done getting my education. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know I'm not going to do it by myself. Jesus, that's how I'm going to do it because I don't have time. They say master's is the big leagues, but I feel like I got it. Like, I feel like, okay, it's fine. Like, because I'm not, your girl not stupid. Never was, never will be. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm so excited for what the Lord is doing. Like, the Lord is working. Like, he always working. But it's like, the Lord is working. And I'm just excited for what's to come. Started applying to jobs because can't be broke. Can't be out here broke. And I got to start saving. Like, I'm going to open a savings account so I can just start putting stuff in there for my place of living. Where I'm going to live at, I don't know. But I can't just be at my mama house. Like, I'm not just going to just, okay, I'm home. I'm just going to be at my mama house. No. It's like, all right, I'm here right now for now. But this is very much temporary gotta get out of there and it's not because oh my gosh i hate living with my mama no it's just because i feel like i just want my own place like being in college and having like independence like a taste of independence you come back home especially after you done graduate it's like okay can't be here for that long like i gotta go because i just would rather live by myself I like being independent. Um, and I think my mom has instilled that into me. Because, like, don't rely on nobody for nothing. You got it. You could do it. If you could do it by yourself, do it. You know? Like, get that house. Get that job. Start that career. You know what I'm saying? Make your own money. Don't rely on anybody else to do things for you in that nature. However, when I get my husband, my man, the God, if he want to do it for me, go ahead, baby. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Because who am I to tell you to stop? No. that's You're the provider. Go ahead and provide. Provider. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm so excited. We, I think we finna go. I don't know if I said this already, but we finna go in the mall again. I do not feel y'all. My feet still hurt from them heels yesterday. I think I really did. Oh, on my leg. I think I really did the number of my foot. Like, I can see. I still see a mark, like an indention on the bottom of my foot. Which is crazy. So, I don't know. But back to what I was saying about the Lord. This is kind of everywhere. Just because my mind is everywhere. Because I don't think that I'm fully, fully awake yet. I really want some Starbucks really want starbucks actually but i think back to what back to jesus right um my friend taylor has because i keep saying my friend y'all know her now taylor we was talking about intuition last night and she she gonna talk about some we was talking about relationships like romantic relationships and she was like yeah you next i could i could just feel it I was like, all right, we'll see. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know, I've always been a person just waiting. Like, I'm, like, waiting. Like, I got used to my waiting season. So, for some, for her to tell me that, it's like, okay. I got a little nervous because it's like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I get that he's on his way. 
but how soon? Because I've gotten so used to this season of waiting. It's just like, whatever. Like, this, that's not you. Like, it's not time yet, you know? But I don't know. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to see how the Lord is going to work in that area. Because it's like, Lord, what you about to... Because God is really funny. Like, the man is hilarious, actually. He got a sense of humor like no other. Just like he's supernatural, his humor is supernatural. So, I just... I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But we've been... Me, Taylor, and our other friend, they have a shared Bible plan, a shared devotional, and it's called Talking with Jesus. And I just, I just have been reminded to, like, continue to lay anything and everything at the feet of Jesus. Usually, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, sometimes I tend to worry and I tend to forget or even in my emotions like when I feel when I feel irritated, aggravated, agitated, sad, angry, I be I I forget that it's like okay, okay, you're dealing with these emotions but you don't have to deal with them by yourself. You can really just lay it at the feet of Jesus and be like, "Okay, God, I'm mad." You know, "Okay, God, I'm sad." You know, or I'm angry, Jesus, with you. I'm angry. I'm frustrated with you because I thought X, Y, and Z. Like, sometimes I forget that I can do that because it's like, it's, it's Jesus. Like, we shouldn't be complaining anyways. And you want to sit here and have the audacity, audacity to be upset? Like, please, go somewhere else. But it's like, no, because the Lord is our father. That's what he's there for. And I bet you he'd just be like, I don't know why this girl is sitting up here stressing. And then stressing about herself like she can't talk to me. Like, I can't believe that she's forgetting that. I don't know. I, like, if Jesus wasn't Jesus, I really think that I would get on his nerves. You know, because it's like, bro, get it together. We done been through this how many times? But it literally is a shepherd and his sheep. Like, because sheep are very dumb. And so they fall into the same things every time. You know? And it's like, we really are sheep. Because it's like, wow. Some stuff that we do is really stupid. Like, it's really dumb. Like, it's like, okay, I can't believe you just did that. But because Jesus is our shepherd, he's like, got to go save them again, my poor children. You know? It's not like, oh my gosh, these children are so dumb. Like, he doesn't, it's not, it's never like that. And that's another reason why I really love Jesus. Because it's like, oh my gosh, my child is my poor child. Let me just go save her. Let me go save him right quick, you know? And it's crazy that he can do that because Jesus died for us, you know? It's like, well, they messed up this time. I forgive them and now I can forgive them because I gave my only son for them and his blood saves them so now they get another opportunity to spend eternity with me that's fire that's fire and I don't know about y'all when I see Jesus oh my gosh I oh my gosh I'm a screen I'm Jesus biggest fan I'm one of Jesus biggest fans for real because i'm not gonna leave that man alone jesus hey jesus it's you jesus can i touch you jesus jesus can i give you a hug jesus oh jesus jesus can i talk to god right quick can god be touched can i hug god uh you know it's 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 fire so i'm i'm excited I'm excited for real. It looks like people coming out though. But yeah, I enjoyed this car vlog, this car chitty chat chat. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, period. And I will see you guys later. Today that the Lord has made.